season is in full swing and we get a ton of questions about training and kind of what that looks like every year. This would be my seventh CrossFit Games if we can qualify and I want to share a little bit with you guys about what we're doing differently. So I have a lot more details to come on some of the changes we're making but some of the stuff we're starting with is one, I've started wearing, sure enough, a heart rate strap. Uh, so we're just monitoring my heart rate to see how I'm recovering, what zones I'm hitting, things like that. Two, every single piece has intention and detail and is focused on quality of movement. So we are really honing in on some specific skills. Um, for instance, I just had the blocks out. I haven't used the blocks in ages, but there's some stuff we really need to clean up in my overhead pattern. So you'll notice I only have 125 pounds on the bar. That's about as heavy as I went today, but that's because we're working on technique. We're trying to change some muscle memory that I've built that's actually bad habit. So you have to remember, it's like, it's not always just about how hard can you hit it every single day. And that's the point of the heart rate monitor and a lot of the details, but we will have more to come on that. I am excited to share with you guys that in today's video, our sponsor is Airwave. So I'm also gonna be working on managing my heart rate and breathing better throughout my aerobic pieces. And that is where the Airwave mouthpiece comes into play. The Airwave Performance mouthpiece directs your tongue down and forward. And when you bite down, it creates the optimal airway opening. It's patented and scientifically proven with peer-reviewed published research to provide athletes increased endurance, increased strength, and faster recovery. It's gonna reduce your respiratory rate by 20%, improve your muscular endurance, and also help reduce cortisol buildup levels by up to 50%. My specific intention for the jerks. Woo! Not supposed to let a barbell drop like that. Sorry. Uh, so my specific intention for the jerk today was honest, was working on trying to get my front foot out more because I tend to put it down really fast and shorten my jerk. So when I get my foot down too quickly and my head hasn't been able to come through. So I'm working on changing my jerk stance and also getting my head through as fast as possible. So I avoid catching with my head back and putting a ton of strain on my neck and my anterior delt. But instead I catch in that nice, stable locked out overhead position. So like I mentioned, I only went up to 125 pounds today. So just focusing on trying to hit that perfect position every single rep with intention and quality instead of worrying about how much weight I'm throwing on the barbell.
finished my back squats, so I'm really happy with them. It was a couple sets of speed sets, just working on moving as fast as possible at a pretty low percentage. So think like 40-ish percent and just kind of buffering that lactic and lactic and getting comfortable moving quickly with some loading, which is what we do in CrossFit. And then I went into a few heavier sets, just focusing on trying to drive out of the hole as hard as that I could. Um, I was really happy with how these felt today. So I was a little nervous knowing how the sets and reps and just kind of being towards the end of my training week and the volume has slowly been going up with weightlifting, which I don't really love. I like my cons. So the weightlifting breaks me down. And even though I am feeling good, my body and my mind, I do notice like as I get older, so I'm turning 33 and I just don't recover the way that I used to. I can't handle as much volume. And I think that's the biggest thing as you, if you want to stay in the sport and you want to stay healthy, you have to adjust your training based on where you are in your life and how your body is going to respond. It's very obvious that at 17, I could recover much quicker and also having a gym and having a lot of other responsibilities can add stress. Stress is gonna tax you the same way, even if you're exercising. So we don't wanna use like, oh, I was really stressed today, I'm gonna use that as my exercise. No, we don't wanna do that, but we wanna be aware of how much stress we have in our life so we're not double whamming ourselves if we're coming in here and just destroying ourselves every single day in the gym. And we're also super stressed at home or at work. Like that's not gonna allow our body to recover. So just keeping an eye on everything inside and outside of the gym so you can do your best. seeing stars Whew. so today in the afternoon session we had some strongman 
and just some sled pulling in 2016 I couldn't pull the sled and 2018 I think the same thing and probably 2021 so what we're learning is usually I don't even touch strongman stuff I right, see somebody usually I don't even touch that until after I know I've made it to the games and this year we decided let's start working that stuff in earlier because one there's a ton of benefits that come from it moving a sandbag moving a heavy, heavy sled and two it's clearly a weakness so I need to start touching it earlier and give myself more time to get more comfortable with it and to be a little bit more confident hopefully fingers crossed if I can get to the game stage this year so hit that and then we ended with conditioning which I love except when it's only echo bike intervals. And the whole intention of that was just trying to generate more power output, drive my heart rate closer to my max heart rate, get some really good intense piece without necessarily beating my body down with a ton of weights or other joint heavy movements because I've done a lot of those this week. So a really great way to work the heart rate without punishing or taxing my body too much after a really solid week of training. So that's a little bit of the insight. And like we said earlier, we've got some exciting stuff coming. We're excited to share with you just on some of the changes that we've decided to make. But for now, that's all for this video. If you guys have any questions on how we train, why we train, what we did today, drop those in the comments below. If you have questions on the airwave, drop that as well. Super awesome piece. I think you guys will love it. Have a great day. Don't forget, smash the like button and see you in the next video. I can say oh na 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 No compromise You a star Putting up there at night